What's going on guys? When talking about Blizzard versus Murphy's pattern list, there are two main differences that we're gonna go over. One in the adults and one in the babies. Stick around in this video to find out what those two are. Selling in the billions each year, Rainbow Mealworms is your one-stop shop for all your insect needs. Their quality feeders and A-plus customer service keep me coming back to support the health and growth of all of our animals. Visit them today at rainbowmealworms.net to place your order. So this is a Diablo Blanco, which is actually a little bit different than just a basic blizzard which is why he is closing his eyes right now, because this is a blizzard plus albino plus eclipse. It gives the geckos a really nice reddish hue to the eyes, as you can see there a little bit, but this is still a pretty good representation of what a blizzard will look like compared to a Murphy's Patternless. Now let's start off as babies. As babies, blizzard and Murphy's Patternless are so easy to tell apart in their base form. Because when you start mixing a whole bunch of genes together, it starts messing with the genetics and the pattern and the look of the animal. It could change things up. But let's start with the base gene comparison. Murphy's pattern list, contrary to its name, actually has pattern on the babies 100% of the time. I've never seen a Murphy's pattern list in its base form that has no pattern. So take a look at this picture on screen. This is a great example of what Murphy's pattern list geckos look like as babies. Now take a look at this picture on screen. This is what blizzard geckos look like as babies. As you can see, blizzards do not have any pattern and this pretty much carries on throughout the blizzard genome or combo potential most blizzards will never ever have pattern there is this rare blizzard called like a sunset or sunburst or something like that and it's tangerine blizzard which gives the blizzard a little bit of a different color hue but for the most part blizzard is always going to be one solid color and in its base form that solid color will typically be a whitish grayish purple sometimes somewhere in between all of those hues now it's pretty easy also as adults murphy's pattern list in its base form will actually be what i call two-toned look at this picture on the screen right now now look at this picture on the screen what's the difference between these two geckos can you guess which one is Murphy's Patternless? Just by me saying that Murphy's Patternless tend to be two-toned as adults, if you said this picture, then you got it right. As adults, Murphy's Patternless will typically be either a darker colored body with a lighter colored tail or a lighter colored body with a darker colored tail. Either one of these options can happen, but as you can see, it gives the gecko a two-toned effect. Now let's study the blizzard a little bit more in detail. In its base form, you will see there is no two-toned effect. It's just completely one solid color. Now, what questions do you have on Murphy's pattern list versus blizzard? Did this video help you a little bit to understand the two main differences? If so, just so I know that you understand the point, what are those two main differences in baby form and in adult form, please comment below. Also comment below some other video ideas because I would love to hear what you want to learn about. So until next time guys, be safe, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.